Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, Joe Button in the game of beefing. Again. Let's talk hip hop. Thank God I worked my way out of that fight that you fighting, game. What's this nigga real name? Jason? Jason. Don't fucking talk to me, no nigga named Jason. <laughs> you talking about my girl with a girl name? Watch your fucking mouth, man. I feel bad for niggas like that. Because I understand. Unfortunately, today, real good MCs have to do shit like that. So, last week when the game was like at a listening party up in the studio, he was letting everybody hear his new album, uh, Born to Rap. Um, he premiered like all, all the songs, but it was like one song that like really stood out. And that song was a song where basically he's talking about like everybody's girl, right? So look, I really think this is tasteless, right? Like if you talking about your girl or some single dots that you know you smashed or whatever like that that's cool but the game he really he don't care so he's talking about women who are now married uh like kem k women who are now like in like committed relationships you know engaged like a sin santana somebody um this is the same song that y'all heard the clip where he goes, I had Kim Kardashian by her dope, nigga. I'm, I should have passed, I should apologize to Kanye. That's my folk, nigga. You know, um, and now in the song, you know, it, it was only like a certain snippet that was on social media. And that snippet, the Kim K snippet is the one that everybody heard, right? But last week, when um, WAC 100 came to New York. Now, WAC 100, for those that don't know, he's a, a music manager, right? He manages a lot of artists from the West Coast. So he's um, uh, Roddy Rich's manager, he's Ray J's manager, he's the game's manager, and also he's Blueface's manager. So the reason why WAC 100 was even here in New York was because Blueface was like on his press run and he went up to Everyday Struggle and WAC 100 went up there with him. So when WAC 100 went up there with him, he let uh, DJ Academics listen to that entire song that uh, the game was talking about, Kim K in. And in that song, the game also says something about Sin Santana, about how he smashed her too or whatever, right? So you know how Academics does, right? He goes on Twitch, he talks about everything that happened to him during the day, and he happened to just mention that. And he says like, yo, I should probably call Joe Button and tell like Joe Button what happened, right? So Joe Button gets wind of this and he's like, yo, I feel like it's mad disrespectful. Like you heard it, right? So look, when Joe Button met Sin Santana, she wasn't a virgin. And we all know that she probably has sex with at least one other guy in her life, right? So the way that the game is doing it though, is he's out here just trying to like create a buzz. He wants people to listen to his new album. He wants to go viral. And so he's just naming names, like not even caring about the situation that these women are in right now with that. I feel like, you know, that's, that's some sucker shit. I do. I do. So of course the game responds to what Joe button says on his IG live or not on his IG live, but his IG story. You can't sue nobody for discovering the pussy first. You Christopher Columbus ass nigga. You know, like, what the fuck? And it's like he just wants all out war with him for no reason, right? Um, and then says, you know, I turned you into an on-air personality. Pussy! You know, like, they said Ice Traded Gang back in that song like a year or two ago with the Migos, right? Quavo voice, right? So, it's funny, yo, because... Yo, the game is out here clout chasing, but this is the game, man. This is what he does. He always does like a um, name dropping and songs, and he's just like, he, he's always about this. But I feel like right now, today, uh, with this song, he's getting a little bit more disrespectful. You want to talk about Amber Rose? That's fine because she's really not in no like real relationship. You want to talk about Black China? Cool. She bounces from Kid Boo back to uh, All Almighty J, back to Kid Boo, back to Almighty J. That's fine because they're not committed. So, but you you're messing up homes now, right? So Joe Button just proposed to Sin Santana. She's pregnant with their kid or just had their kid, um, and and look at you. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, and then Kim K and Kanye, they are together for real. They are married. They got like three, four children. Look at you, right? That's some clout chasing type shit. But when it's all said and done, you're trying to create a buzz. And, and let's see what happens because I know that, you know, we, real niggas don't really care about rap about that gangster LA blood shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't care about relationships and all that. But I, I see, I see what you're doing, game. But. It's funny because wasn't we here like 15 years ago? Didn't the game and Joe Button have like a whole rap battle like 15 years ago? New York, they trying to take me downtown, put me under the court. Cause Joe Button's told him I carry a gun in New York. And homie, that's strictly fact. He got ripped on wax, so he snitched just to get me back. No matter what you say, dog, the shit be whack. You better watch what you say, it might get you clapped. His that's 300 bars and running. The game went on for 10 minutes, rapping straight, no hook, talking about Joe Button and 50 Cent and all the people from the East Coast that he wasn't messing with. And then Joe Button responded. Back to the tail game, trying to bag what was left, but that's after me saying to sell and bad left. Wait, he was lonely, I put it together, game. Got no song of face they could put together, game. I asked if it's beef, but he stayed relaxing. Now that's what I'm calling a delayed reaction, game. Now tell me who the wankster is. Dog, I saved you on clue, and it's the thanks I get. That verse was suspect, gang. Asked to salute. That's game over. Joe Button responded to him like 15 years ago, like right around the time that 21 Savage came to America. And then the game responded again. Vanish quickly. I got niggas in the hood that'll kill you for a can of mixes. Gangs in LA, we never die. Die. And we'll let hollow tips fly at Joe Buttons. 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 The name of that is called Buttons. The, the, the game dissing Joe Buttons, like, what? Like, yo, listen, this is deja vu. It must be Groundhog's Day or something because now y'all back to beefing. Y'all was beefing 15 years ago, right? Y'all was cool, and then you started beefing again, like yesterday? Like, I don't get it, man. Just like, <laughs> yo, this whole thing is funny, but I guess the game figures, yo, listen, I'll be for them once. You know, I know what he's about and I'll be for him again. Yo, I'm going to tell you right now, yo, if Joe Button decides to rap back at you, which he's not because he ain't going to waste his time because you know, if he ain't come out and, and rap against uh, Eminem, he ain't coming out to rap against the game, first of all, you know, um, and Eminem is way nicer than the game. But Joe Button will smash the game. I know it. You know what I'm saying? So chill out. But I think that the game knows, one, that Joe Button ain't going to rap back at him. And if he does, it'll be a good rap battle because the game is nice. And then two, guess what? Free promotion because dude going to be talking about you on his podcast, which is like the biggest podcast on Spotify right now. So I see you. You know what I'm saying? But... Yo, you gotta chill out with all this, man. I wouldn't call it clout chasing. Wow. Well, I mean, I guess I would, but this is the, what the game does. So if, if this is clout chasing, then the game was one of the originators of the clout chase. You know what I'm saying? Because, yo, bro, just chill out. Come out with good music. You a vet. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do this right now. You don't have to come out like that. Not like that. You ain't one of these new niggas trying to get a buzz. Not like that. You ain't got to do that. Just come out, speak, let the music speak for itself. You got a huge fan base. You got a loyal fan base and everybody messes with you already. So just do that. Come out with the good music. I'm looking forward to the album. I want to hear the good music part of it. Not all of this clickbait and, and fugazi ass shit. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me at Johnny Fastlane on everything. And you already know what to do. Peace.